I have here a list of high waterfalls, the 10 highest. It would make sense if they were in a list which came down, a bulleted or a numbered list. I'm going to see what I can do. Notepad. At the beginning of the list, I'm going to put in a tag to start a list. At the end of it, I'm going to put the closing tag. This will give me an unordered list. But now I've got to organize the list items. In front of each thing, I need to put an LI. Each thing, each thing in the list. At the end of each one, I need to put a closing LI. Let me just save this and have a look and see what it looks like. Yes, the beginning and the end. Let me do the other ones. Right, I've put in the LIs and the closing LI for all of the items in this list. I'm going to save it and preview it. There they all are. This is an unordered list. You, unordered. But if I change that to an O, and I change that to an O, and save it, you will now see an ordered list. Ordered. Because I changed the tagging to an O. It had been a U. Right, that's nice. Now it also makes sense to remove all these colons. Right, I'm going to do that now. Right, my list has had all the punctuation marks that were at the end of that long list that went sideways. I've removed them. Let me say and preview. Right, my list looks better. However, you actually can also now in the, in the HTML coding, you can change it from numbering to letters. Let's go and have a look. Now, we've learned about attributes. I'm going to put here type equals equals quotation bracket A type, that's the name and the value. Save. Preview. Nice. I can also change that to a small a. Save. Preview. Good. We've now seen with OL or UL how to add bullets to a list in HTML coding.